all right so let's take 18 inches by 18 inches let's click create the first thing let's add a gradient and the first one is gonna have a location of 19 all right then we pick a blue color then we pick red on the other side okay so now let's bring in our first image let's drag and drop all right let's resize it and place it on the top left okay so now let's change the blend mode to lighten all right then lower the opacity okay now let's go to filter blur gaussian blur and let's add some blur now add a layer mask grab a soft round brush make sure black is the foreground color then brush the edges out then after that drag in this image right click and flip horizontal then place it here you can resize that okay so let's change the blend mode to soft light add a layer mask then grab your brush then brush the sharp edges off now let's bring this image right click and flip horizontal and then place it here okay so let's come to the layer below and add the solid color black lower the opacity to 28 then go to filter noise and add noise all right choose smart object so that we can tweak it a little bit later now grab the text tool and type in victory all right so check the description the link to this font is in the description all right all right so we type in c and then place it right here okay so let's duplicate this letter and bring it below that will send it to the back and change it to h all right so double tap here then in the blending options let's go for gradient overlay set the angle to zero so the first one is going to have a darker of the original color and then the second one we sample the original color then we need to add more points So now that we have that, we can go ahead and duplicate, then send it to the back. So we have to duplicate and change the letters until we write whatever we want to write, just like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add more types. So 20, change the font. Every font that I'm using right here, the link to the files is in the description you can check them out now grab your rectangle to then create a rectangle like this then don't choose a solid color let's go for gradient so you click on the gradient then choose angle zero all right let's go back there and choose our colors so the first one i'm gonna sample the yellow color then we leave the other side white
so just tweak the locations to have a sharp or a smooth transition so that it won't actually overlap you will see some, just like you are seeing over there <laughs> some yellows are on the white now nah, we don't want that so we just need to tweak until it has a smooth transition all right from the yellow to the white okay so let's duplicate that one and here we're gonna choose a solid color white So let's bring in this image, position it over his head and send the layer to the bottom, not below those first two images. All right, so change the blend mode to linear dodge. Now select this image, right click and flip horizontal. All right. So let's grab our text tool again and type something different. Consecrated worship. Now grab your rectangle tool again, then make a rectangle. This time around to we are going for gradient. your angle should be zero so that it will move from left to right and then you go in for your colors then let's add text on top of that so if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos click the like button then leave a comment below any help that you want me to offer i'm available i will reply or comment and share this video so we grab the rectangle to our rounded rectangle and create a shape like this then after that we we'll add a text on top So not much difficult, I think you just add in, keep on adding text, 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 you know, the information on the church flyer actually has to look elegant and it's mostly text. <laughs> Let me increase that. Okay, so let's scroll to the top and create a new layer on top. Then grab this tone paper brushes link in the description. Foreground white, click once. Control T and resize it. Just like that. All right, now go and duplicate this layer. Then on the top one, Press Ctrl T and bring it down a little. All right, now double tap here and go to blending options, then add inner shadows. All right, so it's looking nice. Okay, so now we have a few things left. That's the date, the time, and the venue location. Now let's go ahead and add the date. And let's add the time right here. So resize it, place it right here. 
and go ahead and duplicate it to the bottom or below so grab your rectangle tool then create a small rectangle right there then the color sample from the text duplicate rotate and do something fancy like this so after that select all the three duplicate and flip horizontal then send them to the other side now I'll go ahead and paste this text right here it's just simple you can go ahead and type it then resize it now let's go and bring in this glow light right here then place it there all right so let's send the layer behind the pastel image all right then change the blend mode to linear dodge then position it to the right let's go and bring another one change the blend mode to linear dodge and squeeze it up like this then place it on top of the chant all right so let's bring another one and do the same thing and place it under the not just november text Alright, so let's go ahead and increase the opacity of the smart objects. That's the noise that we added. Let's increase the opacity a little bit. Now create a new layer on top and select the gradient tool. Go in there and choose black black on both ends and add a gradient. Now let's bring in the logo. Then scroll to the bottom behind this logo. Um, we're going to bring in the glow lights again. Change the blend mode to linear dodge. Increase it a bit. Alright, so there we have it. I'm going to paste in this, then increase the size like that. So let's adjust the positions of the glow lights and the images as well. Let's select the gradient layer and add one more stroke of gradient. All right, so now it's looking great. Let me just go ahead and paste in the pastest name. These are just simple text that I have to paste in, you know don't have to waste time on typing on this they are just simple to do and the fact is i'll just i got every text or font style that i'm using in here i've placed them in my telegram channel so the link is in the description you can go ahead and go for them and that's it guys a very simple gorgeous elegant looking church fly that you can try out on your next project if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video like this video leave a comment below and i'm out peace